वर्टिबल बोन्स दीज आर द बोन्स विच हैव और कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू स्पेसिफाइड नंबर ऑफ इक्विटी शेयर ऑफ द कंपनी इश्यूइंग दीज बोन्स विद इन ए स्पेसिफाइड पीरियड सपोज ए कंपनी इशूज ए कन्वर्टेबल डिवेंचर फॉर रुपीज टू हंड्रेड इट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इंटू टेन इक्विटी शेयर एट एनी टाइम विद इन नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स वी विल से द बोन्ड्स आर कन्वर्टेबल बोन्ड्स सो कन्वर्टेबल बोन्ड्स आर द बोन्ड्स विच हैव or can be converted into specified number of equity shares of the company issuing these bonds within a specified period let's understand a few terms related to convertible debentures the first term is conversion ratio the number of shares that each bond can be converted into is known as conversion ratio for example a company issues a bond and that can be converted into five equity shares so conversion ratio is 5 so conversion ratio refers to the number of shares that each bond can be converted for example suppose a company issues a bond it can be converted into 20 equity shares we will say the conversion ratio is 20 conversion price is the exercise price at which the investor converts his bond into equity shares suppose a company issues a bond at rupees 200 it can be converted into 10 equity shares so the conversion price is rupees 20 so conversion price is the exercise price at which the investor converts his bonds into equity shares it is obtained by dividing the par value of the bond by the conversion ratio the third term is conversion parity price conversion parity price is obtained by dividing the current market price of convertible bond by the conversion ratio for example if the current price of the bond is rupees 1500 and it can be converted into 10 equity shares the conversion parity price is rupees 150 straight value of the bond the term is used with reference to option convertible bonds the term is used with reference to option convertible bonds that is it is used with reference to such bonds which can be converted into equity shares at the option of the bond holder so the term is used with reference to option convertible bonds the straight value of bond is what the convertible bond will sell for if it could not be converted into equity shares it is the price of an equivalent non convertible bond downside risk if the share price goes much below the conversion price it is expected by market forces that conversion option won't be exercised the market price of the convertible bond will be equal to straight value of bond suppose conversion price is rupees 20 market price per share goes much below rupees 20 so there is every possibility that the conversion won't be exercised so the value of the bond will come down to the value of straight value of bond so in that case whatever loss is suffered by the investor that is known as downside risk this will result in loss for the investor this loss is referred as downside risk it is to be calculated in percentage term 
This amount should be divided by straight value of bond and multiplied by 100. Stock value of the bond. Current market price of share into conversion ratio is known as stock value of bond. It is also referred as conversion value of the bond. Conversion premium to the extent by which the market value of a convertible security exceeds the conversion value. Suppose a bond can be converted into 10 equity shares. Market value is rupees 20 per equity share. So conversion value of the bond is rupees 200. The bond is being traded in the market say at 205. So rupees 5 is the conversion premium. Suppose a convertible bond is being traded in the market at rupees 265. It can be converted into 10 equity shares having market price of 25. So what is the conversion value? 250. What is the value of the bond? 265. 15 rupees is the conversion premium. If calculated in terms of percentage, the conversion premium is divided by the conversion value. Question number 6.33. Please refer to the chapter Bonds Valuation of the Textbook. Please go through the question thoroughly. What are the important particulars of the question? It is a question on convertible bonds. Face value rupees 250. Market price rupees 265. State value of bond rupees 235. Market price per share rupees 12. Given the conversion ratio we have to answer certain values concerned with the bonds. What is the first point that we have to answer? We have to find stock value of the bond. By stock value of the bond we mean market value of the equity shares, current market price of the equity shares to be obtained on conversion of the bond. If we convert this bond into equity shares, we will get 20 equity shares. We see the question, the conversion ratio is 20. Each bond can be converted into 20 equity shares. So if we convert the bond into 20 equity shares, what will be the value of those 20 equity shares? That is known as stroke value of the bond. We know that current market price is 12 rupees per share. By conversion, we will get 20 shares. So, stroke value of the bond, stroke value of the bond is rupees 240. We have to find percentage downward risk. What is the downward risk? Today, the market price of the bond is rupees 265. If for one reason or the other, if for one reason or the other conversion is not feasible conversion is banned by the government conversion is not feasible conversion is not likely to take place the value of the bond will come down to 235 if conversion is not feasible if conversion is not possible it will become just like a non-convertible bond so today the market price is 265 but if conversion is not feasible it will come down to 235. Difference between these two is the downward risk. So downward risk is rupees 30. We have to find conversion premium. Conversion premium is current market price of the bond as reduced by stock value of the bond. Current market price of the bond 
is rupees 265 current market price of the bond is rupees 265 intrinsic value of the bond intrinsic value of the bond is 20 equity shares valued at rupees 12 each so intrinsic value of the bond is rupees 240 we are paying 265 for getting 20 shares at the rate of 12 that is 240 it means we are paying extra premium of rupees 25 so the conversion premium is rupees 25 conversion parity price of the bond conversion price of the bond is current market price divided by conversion ratio current market price is 265 conversion ratio is 20 so the conversion parity price is 13.50 let me explain you all these points in detail stoke value of the bond is equal to current market price of a share into conversion ratio current market price of the share is rupees 12 conversion ratio is 20 so stoke value of the bond is rupees 240 this is also known as intrinsic value of the bond if you own one bond if you own one bond you can get 20 equity shares and the worth of those 20 equity shares is rupees 240 this is known as stoke value of the bond percentage downward risk that is market price of convertible bond minus straight value of the bond divided by straight value of the bond so the percentage downward risk is 12.77% that is if suppose the conversion of this bond is not feasible or conversion of this bond is not to take place for any reason in that case the value of the bond will decline by rupees 30 current market price is 265 straight value of bond is 235 so there will be loss of rupees 30 there will be loss of rupees 30 that is your downward risk divided by straight value of bond we get the percentage downward risk conversion premium current market price of convertible bond minus conversion value current market price of the convertible bond is rupees 265 while market value of the shares that we get is rupees 240 so we are paying rupees 25 extra this is known as our conversion premium conversion parity price conversion parity price is current market price divided by conversion ratio current market price is 265 conversion ratio is 20 so the conversion parity price is 